In this presentation, we provide an overview of the development of web archives in Ireland and offer a glimpse of levels of awareness and engagement with web archives in Irish academic institutions. On the island of Ireland, there are two main web archiving organisations, being the National Library of Ireland and the Public Records Office of Northern Ireland. The NLI has an online public web archive, which is a selective permissions based web archive. They also have a domain archive, which contains two crawls of the .ie domain in 2007 and 2017. However, this has never been accessible to researchers due to a lack of legislation for digital legal deposit in Ireland right up until 2019. But also, uh, it was not included as part of the digital legal deposit in the enactment of the Copyright and Other Intellectual Property Law Provisions Act in June 2019. But it did include a clause to conduct a feasibility study for establishing a digital legal deposit scheme to serve as a web archive for the .ie domain. And this is due to be delivered 12 months from enactment. So in effect, we should be looking at the delivery of a report on the feasibility study in June 2020. However, this seems highly unlikely uh, that this will be delivered on time due to the current coronavirus crisis, but also because of a failure to create a majority government since the last general election in February. The Prony Web Archive captures and preserves the websites of government departments and other public sector organisations and operates a selective policy for websites relevant to Northern Ireland. If we look at a study done in 2018 to 2019 that asked Irish students, researchers and lecturers for their levels of awareness with online public web archives, then we see that levels of awareness are pretty low throughout with the Internet Archives Wayback Machine scoring the highest on the awareness scale and both the NLI Web Archive and the Prony Web Archive scoring very low on the awareness scale. So this means that you would have between 68 to 86% of people saying that they're not aware those resources exist. Um, if we go further into the numbers, then respondents could also give reasons for not engaging with web archives. And obviously they're just not being aware is the number one response with 78%. That is followed by respondents feeling that they do not know how to find archived websites, that they're unsure of the credibility of those public web archives as sources in research. Quite surprisingly, the technical aspect where people say that they don't feel confident to use the web archives because of their lack of technical skills is actually pretty low at 7.7%. To sum up, increasing awareness of the availability of web archives as resources for research should lead to more scholarly engagement in Ireland. The provisional training in how to use a web archive for research would also be useful for increasing engagement. More engagement by researchers might also have some impact to secure legislation from the Irish government for the establishment of a domain web archive but also to get access to the crawls done by the NLI in 2007 and 2017. Thank you for your time.